UK taxes may not apply in the Channel Islands, but they still make their presence felt. Since the credit crunch, trading conditions have been difficult for retailers around the British Isles and Jersey and Guernsey are no exception. Now with VAT rising to 20% and UK fuel duty also going up, Channel Island stores are concerned it'll put pressure on their prices and not only if they're branches of UK chains. Where I think we might get some impact is on the cost of carriage because one of the impacts has been on fuel. There's been quite a lot of publicity about the increase in not only uh, VAT but duty on fuel. So I can see the cost of carriage going up as, as cost of getting the goods to Portsmouth from on the mainland will, will rise as a result of this VAT increase. Complaints about UK retailers passing on VAT to Channel Island shoppers are nothing new. And there's not an awful lot that can be done about it, as in a free market, businesses are free to charge whatever they want. So the best advice that can be given to shoppers is to shop around. The VAT rise isn't bad news for all Channel Island businesses. Many companies sell goods tax-free to UK customers. With duty going up in the UK, there's an added incentive for consumers to go online to look for bargains. But for campaigners against what they see as an abusive, albeit legal, practice which damages UK business, the VAT rise means the need for the Treasury to take action is even greater. It will cause more business to go offshore, um, it will highlight the issue more and I think eventually it will be dealt with. I personally can't see how this can continue because the logical conclusion is nobody buys anything, well it's already happened in the music industry, there are no internet operations selling CDs and DVDs on the UK mainland, they're all offshore. Whether Channel Island retailers are working online or offline, the UK tax increases will have an impact. Fulfillment businesses may look back on 2011 as the year the UK government chose to take action on VAT-free imports. And on the high street, shops say they won't be putting up prices immediately, but there could be rises later in the year.